Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Dear guys, in previous session we have discussed few problems in exercise 3 of square roots and cube roots chapter. Is it done? So, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss class 8 square roots and cube roots chapter. Particularly, the remaining problems in this exercise 6.3. Okay. And these exercise problems are most selected for competitive exams also. So, in Olympiad exams. So, we solve in easy way the problems of this exercise. So, in this part of video, the first question is, that is in exercise 3, that is fourth question. Find the length of the side of a square whose area is 4489 square centimeters. So our chapter is square roots, squares and square roots, no? square roots and cube roots. In that, always we get either square formula, related formula was only. So what is the area of the square formula? Yes. Now let us discuss the solution of this question number 4. That is, first to find out the side of a given square, let us consider the length of the side of the square is x centimeters because area is given in square centimeters, given in the units of square centimeters. So that consider the length of this side of a square is b x centimeters. Let us consider the length of the side of length of the side of a square b x centimeters how much x centimeters length of the side of a square b x centimeters now what is the area of a square formula yes area of a square formula is what is the area of a square formula side into side so that is side into side. Here we have considered here we have considered the length of this side of a square is x centimeters. So that it becomes x into x. That is x square centimeters square of square centimeters. X square square centimeters. But according to the problem, it is given 4489 square centimeters. But according to problem. What is given? According to problem, it is given x square is equal to 4489. But we want the length of the side x value. So, write x as subject. While writing the subject x, while writing x as subject, send square to other side, means right side. Then it becomes square root. Therefore, x is equal to square root of Square root of 4489. 4489 is under root. Okay. So, how to find the square root of 4489? We have discussed finding the square root of 4489 in two ways. One is the prime factorization method, and another one is long division method. So, which is the easiest way? Long division method is easy because it is short we will get in few steps within few steps it is since the last units digit the last digit of this number is 9 so that in its square root we may get units digit as we may get units digit either 3 or 7 is it because 3 3 is a 9 3 3 is a 9 7 7 is a 49 so the squares of 3 and 7 ends with 9. So we can expect the square root of this number is having units digit either 3 or 7. Okay, so if it is an objective type, we can analyze like this and we can put the tick mark which is by elimination method which is the right answer. So obviously they will give two options they ends with 3 and 9 also, sorry 7 also. Okay, so we can eliminate other options. The next chance is so using division method. So as we know that 
we have to solve it is not rough work here itself we have to solve okay so making pairs and what is the next step uh, what is the nearest to perfect square to 44 you have to see of course that is 36 so 6 6 is yeah, 36 so the difference is 8 here 44 minus 36 is 8 the difference is 8 next bring down next pair of digits we have to bring down two digits at a time then it becomes 89 so 889 is a new dividend for us now 889 now next what is the task was in next step you have to make you have to write here twice of the 6 not only that and we have to keep a digit here such that if you multiply with the same digit you should get either 889 or very nearest to this number since it is a perfect square so we get we will get here exact 889 by replacing this box by a suitable digit so what is that digit just we have discussed since it is ending with 9 so we may get here either 3 or 7 now which is suitable so let us check i am taking with 3 now okay i am taking here 3 so 3 3 is 9 3 2 is 6 3 1 is 3 so if you multiply 123 by 3 we are getting 300 plus something 300 plus something okay so it is not suitable then what is my suitable digit here i am taking 7 because 7 7 is 49 next time considering here 7 so 7 7 is 49 Okay, better. 7, 7 is 49. Okay, 4 is carry 9. 7 to 14 plus 4, 18. So, here write 1, 8. Four, 7 to 7 plus 1, 8. Yes. So, if you find the difference of these two, we get 0. So, here, here we have suitable digit is 7 now. So, in quotient also, we have to write that 7. So, at what quotient we got remainder 0? 67. So, your answer is 67. So, what is the value of x? 67. What is mean by x? That is the length of this side of this square. Therefore, final answer is length of this side of a square is equal to side of square. Length of this side of this square is equal to how much? 67 centimeters. What is the answer? 67 centimeters. So, that is 67 centimeters. This is the required answer. So, what is the final answer? 67 centimeters is answer. So, in this way we can solve problems which are related to square roots. Squares and square roots. See here, they have given the area of a square, they ask us to find its side. So, here we have used the concept of square roots concept. To find the square root concept, I have used here. I have applied long division method. Okay, clear better? Right. Now we jump into another problem of this exercise. Now let us discuss question number 5. So, have a look on this question. A gardener wishes to plant 8289 plants in the form of a square. So, he wants to plant these plants in the form of a square. So in square garden he wants to, in the form of a square he wants to plant, okay. Now, in this process he found that there were 8 plants left. While planting these 8289 plants in this square form of the garden or in this square form, how many plants were left? 8 plants were left. There were 8 plants left. So how to find? So, how many plants were here? How many plants were planted in each row? Yes. Here, 8289 minus 8 plants left. So, 8281 plants were planted. So, here these many plants planted. How many left? 8 plants left. Okay. So, actually, total number of plants with garden are 8289. In this, 8 plants were left. Okay, so let me write the solution. That means in this square, 8281 plants were planted. Okay, but they asked in each row how many plants were planted. In each row, row means 
like this. In each row are like this. How many plants were planted? They asked. Okay. So let us consider number of rows in this square form. Okay. Let us consider number of rows. Number of rows in square form. Square in the sense the number of rows and columns will be same. Is it right? So the let us consider number of squares in square form is equal to x. Okay. Number of plants were left. Actually, total number of plants how many are there? Total number of plants with gardener. Total number of plants with gardener. How many plants are with gardener? Yes. Those are 8,289. But in this process, he found that 8 plants were left. So, number of plants. Number of plants left out. Okay. So, number of plants left over. 8 plants left over. So, total number of plants planted. Now, how many plants are planted here? Number of plants planted in this square. 8000, we have to subtract 8 from 8289. Is it? So, many plants were planted? 8281 plants are used to plant. Okay. How many plants? 8281. 8281. Is it clear? Now, since it is a square form, okay, it is in square form, can we guess what type of number it is? It is a perfect square. So that how many plants will be in this means 8281. According to our assumption, according to problem 8281 plants are planted. According to our problem, how many plants will be? Yeah, x rows or x columns. This is x, x. Okay. This side x and this side also x. So, x rows, x columns means total how many will be? x squared. But x squared is equal to how much here? 8,281. Is it? x squared is equal to 8,281. Okay. So, now our solution will become like this. Therefore, x squared is equal to how to equate 8,281 with this x squared. So, x squared is equal to 8281, we want x here. So, if you transpose, then it becomes square root of 8281 under root. 8281 under root. Okay. Now, we have to find the square root of 8281. What about we can find easily? By using long division method. By using long division method. Is it? So, make pairs. 8182. So, what is the nearest perfect square to 81? We know clearly 9, 9, are 81. So, the difference gives us 1 and we have to bring down a pair of digits at a time. Then it becomes 181. Now, in next step, we have to write here 181 is a new dividend for us. Now, 5 of 9 how much? 18. 5 of 9, 18. Now, what is the digit? We have to consider here to get 181. So, obviously, here, since last digit is 1, here 18 clearly, so it is suitable digit is here 1. So, 1 into 181, we get 181. The difference is 0. So, here also you must write 1. So, here 91. So, for what quotient we got remainder 0 here 91. So, the square root of 8281 is 91. So, this is the value of x. What is the meaning of x here? Number of rows in that square garden. Or number of rows in that garden. How many plants were planted in each row? 91 plants were planted in each row. Therefore, the conclusion is 91 plants were planted. 91 plants were planted in each row. 
91 plants were planted in each row. That is the conclusion. Okay, clear. So this is about the solution of question number five. Okay. Very simple. How many left over we have to subtract from the given number of plants? So the remaining uh, number of plants is uh, planted in this square garden. Okay. So we have planted in in the form of a square. Okay. So it is clear to find that it is easy to find because of they are given it is a square shape. So if you want to find the number of plants in each row, we have to find the square root of 8281. It is known fact. So in this word problem, if they ask like this, we can use here. We can use either prime factorization method or long division method. Here no conditions. Our wish. So long division method is shortcut. So I have used this method to find the square root of 8281. So I have a look on this solution. Okay. So we jump into another problem. Okay, guys. So far we have learned the method for finding the square roots of perfect squares. Is it? But we don't know how to find. That means we are unable to find the square roots of non-perfect squares. So in this case, we have to estimate at least we have to estimate the square roots of non-perfect squares. Then how to estimate the square roots of non-perfect squares? In physics and chemistry, sometimes we need to find the square roots of non-perfect squares. In that case, in such a type of cases, we go through estimate very nearest value of very nearest square root of that number we consider. So that then how to find the square roots of non-perfect squares means here not the perfect we are finding here estimating the square root of the non-perfect square number. So let us discuss in this question that concept. My dears, if you observe the question number eight, I have considered. 6th and 7th problems solutions I have discussed in the previous video. So please if you do not watch that video, please do watch and again you go come to this problem. So that video you also watch uh, if, because those two problems are related to second and third problems. So the third fourth concept so I have explained in that video. Okay. So same concept problems I have explained in that video. Another concept problems I have explained in this video, okay? Right. So in description also I will give that link. If you do not that, that video, please go through the description and watch that video. And also I request you all that so many of you not subscribed our channel, please subscribe and support our channel. So who are subscribed, thank you very much for everyone. And so follow my videos to follow my videos you please click on the bell icon to get the notifications when i upload video or when i take live classes to you then automatically you will get a link to watch my classes is it okay thank you now come to the point the question is estimate the value of the following numbers to the nearest whole number so let us discuss first one that is square root of 97 what is the first one here? Square root of 97. You have to estimate the square root of 97 here. So, if you guess, if you observe here, 97. Here, yeah, 97 is lies between which perfect square? What is the perfect square? Uh, less than 97 and more than 97? Yes. Here, yeah, 97 lies between two perfect squares. What are those two perfect squares? Lies between two perfect squares. What are those perfect squares? Yes, those are 81 and 100. Is it 81 and 100? 97 lies between 81 and 100. So I can write here 81 is less than 97 is less than 100. This 81 and 100 are the perfect squares. How that is, you know that it can be written as 9 square. 97 less than it is 10 square. Now that means if you find the square root, then it becomes square root of 9 square less than square root of 97 less than square root of 10 square. 
स्क्वेयर रूट टू स्क्वेयर रूट गेट्स कैसे है नाइन लेस देन स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ नाइनटी सेवन लेस देन टेन ओके नाइन लेस देन स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ नाइनटी सेवन लेस देन टेन नाउ इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हियर क्लियरली द स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ नाइनटी सेवन वैल्यू इज लाइंग बिटवीन नाइन एंड टेन लाइज बिटवीन नाइन एंड टेन सो दैट वी कैन नॉट से करेक्ट बट इन डेसिमल्स वी कैन से दैट आल्सो इट विल बी non repeating non repeating non non terminating non repeating decimal we get but they ask us to find nearest to whole number here so that here 97 is very near to 100 or 81 since 97 is very near to 100 since 97 is very nearer to is very nearer to 100 so the square root of 97 we considered as 10 okay approximately the square root of 97 is how much 10 is it clear similarly we can find the square root of 250 also estimating square root of 250 if you observe here clearly this 250 also lies between two perfect squares what are those two perfect squares one is 225 and another one is 256 is it 250 lies between two perfect squares what are those perfect squares two perfect squares what are those perfect squares those are 225 225 and 256 225 256 so we can write here like this is it 225 less than 250 Less than 256. Am I correct or not? 225 less than 250 less than 256. Now, join the square root sign. It becomes square root sign. Tagli chandan ka padhe mo to the. It is square root of 225 less than implies 250 less than square root of 256. Okay. Now, what is the square root of 225? It is 15 square. We can write as 15 square. Less than 250 under root. Lesser than 16 square under root. Okay. Now that is it can be as 15 less than square root of 250 less than square root of 16. Sorry, square root of 16 square can be as 16. Now here the square root of 250 value is lie, lies between 15 and 16. It lies between 16, 15 and 16. So that our answer will be 15 or 16. But we have to observe here 250 is very near to 256 or 225. We have to question ourselves like this: How if 250 are there, 225 will take care of the 256 will take care of the one check your score. Here 250 is. Here difference is six. Here is a lot of difference. That means twenty-five. So two hundred and fifty is very near to two hundred and fifty-six. So that since two hundred and fifty is near to two hundred and fifty-six, therefore square root of two hundred and fifty is equal to. We have to consider this one. Okay, sixteen. So, like this, you have to estimate the square roots of non-perfect squares. This is called estimation method. Same will be in cube roots also. Okay, we will discuss in next video regarding that. So, now third problem. Okay, so I am. I will look at the board. Uh, please, if you want, take screenshot or else write down. He pause and write down. Then I will explain now square root of seven and eighty. Okay. Third one is square root of seven hundred and eighty. Square root of seven hundred and eighty. What is the square root of seven hundred and eighty? We have to estimate the square root of seven hundred and eighty. Since square root of since seven hundred and eighty is not a perfect square, it is a non-perfect square. Okay. So third one is square root of seven hundred and eighty. So can you guess what are the Nearest perfect square to seven hundred and eighty. Seven hundred and eighty lies between. Every time you are writing this dialogue, seven hundred and eighty lies between seven hundred and twenty-nine. Two perfect squares. What are those two perfect squares? 
टू परफेक्ट स्क्वेयर सोल्यूशन so here i can write here now 729 is less than 780 less than 784 okay i want square root of 780 na no? so give square root sign for every number then it becomes square root of 729 square root of 780 less than 784 okay less than square root of 784 less than square root of 784 Okay, now what is the square root of seven twenty nine? We know clearly since it is last digit is nine, twenty five, twenty five, or six twenty five. Then after twenty five only, obviously. So twenty six, twenty six, or six hundred fifty six, twenty seven, twenty seven, or bigger. So twenty seven square less than seven eighty square root of seven eighty square root of seven eighty less than it can be as square root of Twenty eight, twenty eight, sir. Eight eight, sir. Sixty four. Twenty eight, twenty eight, sir. Seven hundred eighty four. Okay. That is, we can write it as twenty seven lesser than seven hundred eighty under root less than twenty eight. Okay. Now, what shall I take answer? Is twenty seven, twenty eight. So it is nearer to seven hundred eighty four. Since seven hundred eighty is very near to Very near to 784. Therefore, what is the square root of 780 value? That is 28. We have to answer this one. Okay, we have to answer 28 itself. Since it is very very near to 784 than 729. Near to 784. Very nearer to 784 than 729. So I have to answer. The square root of 780 is equal to 28. Okay, clear, brother? Okay. In this way, we can estimate the square roots of non-perfect squares. Like any number, we can take. We can estimate on the square root of non-perfect square in this method. Just uh, you have to remember at least 30 squares perfectly. Then it is easier for us to solve such type of problems. Okay, my dears. So this is the end of the session. So in this video lecture we have discussed the remaining problems in the exercise three, and if you do not watch previous video, that means six point three exercise part one, please in description I am giving that link. Please do watch and watch this one also. And I request if you do not subscribe our channel, please do subscribe and share with your friends. And my dear students, don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the notifications when I upload my videos. Thank you.